Let's talk about Reform Judaism, or Liberal Judaism. I, one who, like me, was perhaps a convert to Reform Judaism, because I did not grow up like this, I chose to become a Reform Jew, is often amazed by other people's criticism that Reform Judaism is not real Judaism because it changes Judaism, or it, it allows too much liberty or freedom. Uh, the basic difference between Reform and Orthodox Judaism really zeroes in on Sinai. What do we believe happened at Sinai? If one believes that Moses went up on Sinai and God gave him a revelation, a one-time deal, where every question that could possibly be asked by a student to his teacher, even in the future, every question has ever been asked and every question that still will be asked in the future, the answer was already given in this one-time occasion, and that was then transmitted to the Torah and the Talmud, then one is an Orthodox Jew, and then you have to go back to those sources, the Torah and the Talmud, and find the answer there. The Reform perspective on this is that God reveals him or herself all the time. God is like a broadcasting radio that's ever broadcasting, that just at some point different people are attuned to that or not. So when you have a new finding in science, that contradicts what we find in the Torah, we have to believe that that's also a form of revelation. When Einstein figures out that E equals mc squared, it's a revelation just like that of Sinai. Uh, Judaism has never been a monolithic religion. There has always been many ways to be Jewish. There were uh, Karaites and, and Rabbinites, or there were um, Pharisees and Sadducees and Essenes. Uh, the Jewish world is divided in Ashkenazim and Sephardim. There has never been only one way to be Jewish. So it's preposterous to assume that one group of Jews think that they have all their 100% right and everybody else is wrong. Also, Judaism has always changed. Has always, uh, there have always been changes made. And even Orthodox Judaism changes. It just changes very, very, very slowly in the times of when Jews lived in the land of Israel, there was the Sanhedrin, and the Sanhedrin made changes. Ever since, the changes happen they're much more difficult, and they happen much more, at a much slower pace. Um, it's important, above all, to be coherent, and to be honest with oneself. If one believes in an orthodox lifestyle, and an orthodox believes in one lives an orthodox lifestyle, then it's appropriate for them to be orthodox. Otherwise, people are free to be wherever they want. Nobody owns Judaism and owns the truth in Judaism. Our form of, of Judaism, Reform Judaism, especially the one we practice at the New Reform Temple, classical Reform Judaism, above all puts an emphasis on ethics and morals. Th those are non-negotiable. And also puts a great deal of emphasis on the autonomy of the individual. Once you, you decide what's best for you, for your life, is this does this practice make my life better? Does this practice make me feel closer to God and the Jewish people? Then it's an appropriate practice for you. If not, you're free to, after having thought about it and made an informed choice, to decide that's not for me. That's the essence of being a Reformed Jew.